What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to create items and fields in your Sanity CMS. I'm going to show you how to query for those fields and I'm going to show you how to iterate over and render that content on the front end. This is all fundamental and key for working with Sanity, so let's get into it. Let's get it on! So here we have post, author, and category. Let's say we also want to show events. So the user can create events with a title, a date, and a slug for going to a single event page. We'll create an event document type. These are all different documents. And then inside that document, we'll create the fields that we want. So all these have their own specific fields. If you go to create a post, it has all these fields. So we'll create an event document and the fields that we want inside of that. So this is a view project, we have our source folder, and we have our studio, which is our sanity project. And then inside that studio sanity project, we have schemas. And so these are the different schemas. We have author, category, post, and those each have their own fields. So those are pertaining to these and the fields. And so we'll create another one in a file called event.js. And so we'll export default object. We'll give it a title, which we will call events. And the name, this is how we'll reference it in the code. We'll say event. And the type is document. And then the fields, which is an array of multiple fields. Each of those fields is an object. And those will also have a title. And we'll make the first field called title, which will be the title of the event. Name, this is how we reference it in the code, which we will call title. And the type of field will be a string. Another field that we will add is the slug. So the title will be called slug. The name will be slug. And the type will be slug. Sanity has a type of slug, which is basically a text field with some URL validations built into it. And then one more field. So another object, we'll say name is date. That's how we refer to it in the code. I'm gonna be a little more consistent here and put the title at the top, like these other ones. And so the title will say event date. And the type is date. You can also do a type of date time where it lets you pick a date and a time. Please consult your local documentation for more information. So we'll save that. And then in our main schema here, we will import that event schema from the event folder. And then here is our main schema and we're concatenating all of our different schemas to YouTube schema, which I added in a previous video. So we'll also use our event schema. So if we go back into here, we see this events. We can create a new one and we have our title, a slug and event date. Give it a super original title of awesome event. And we'll say that's at slash awesome event. And then event date. October 12th. And 
give that a publish. I'll make a few more so we can iterate and display multiple events. Got to make sure we publish the pizza party. So now those are saved and we'll want to render those on the front end. So if we go back into our view project, we go to views, add a new file. We'll call it event view dot view. I'll have a template and the script. So we'll import sanity from the client. This comes from the sanity client and it gives us the sanity.fetch, which lets us fetch our data. We'll pass in a grok query into that fetch method. I'll go ahead and create that here. Do a const query, so we'll save it to that constant variable. Do a backtick. And then we're looking for the type that is event. And then the fields we want are title, slug, date, and then I like to add the spread operator in case we end up adding fields later, it'll grab those additional fields. And then we'll export default, give a name for the component, and methods. We'll do this fetch data method. We'll say this dot error, which will create this property in a second. And also the this events, which is what we're going to save our events to. Both of those are equal to null when we call this fetch data. And we'll say this dot loading, a property we will also make. We'll set that to true when we call this method. And so now we're using that sanity client. We're doing the fetch method and we're passing in that query. Which returns a promise. And we will get our events back. Which we're saving to a variable called events. And we'll set, if we get those events, we'll set this loading equals false. This events, which is a property we'll create, is equal to the events that we get back. And then if there's an error, we will also get that back. And if we get the error, we'll still set this loading to false. And we'll set this error to error. And when this component is created, we will call this fetch data. And speaking of data, That returns an object, any properties we want to use. So we'll say loading is true by default and events is an empty array by default. And now in our template here, we'll do a parent div 
we'll do an h1 with the class of center text and we'll say events And a div, which will give a class of events. So let's see, we'll do a paragraph tag v if loading. So if loading is true, we'll say loading. If there's an error, We will display the error. And then for the events themselves, we'll put those in a div. And we'll use v4. And we'll say event in events. So we'll iterate over all the events, and for each one, we will call it. Uh, event. And you want to give that a unique key for each one. And Sandy gives an ID by default, so we can use that. And we'll give this a class of container. And for each event, we will do event.title and an h2 tag. And then in a paragraph tag, we will do event.date, although we would like to format this a little bit better. So I'll do new date and pass in event.date to give it the date and we'll do to locale date string I call that method to format that a bit and lastly just a little horizontal rule to go between each event so I'll just create a couple classes here real quick we'll do dot center text target that class we will say text align center And we'll do the container class. And we'll just say max width 42m, margin 0 auto to center that container. Save this file. Now in our main app. Dot view. This is our parent component where we have our navigation. We'll add this little separator. We'll do another router link, which will go to the events page. And we'll give that a title of events in the navigation and save that and lastly we'll have to create that events in our router index.js so path we said slash events name event component event 
view, which we could import this way or import at the top. I'll go ahead and go to the top here. Go up a level into our views folder and grab event view dot view and save that. And now if we look at our front end, go to localhost 8080 and it's broke. Can't resolve event view dot view. Looks like it's good here. Import event view from ah, views. Try that again. There we go. So now we have our events here, and hopefully this works. And it takes us to events. For different events with our dates formatted. Okay, so I showed you how to create a document, how to create the fields, how to query for those fields, and how to iterate over the data and display them on the front end. So I hope that helped you out. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe, drop a comment and say what's up, and thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Today, I'm going to show you how to create items and fields in your Sanity CMS. I'm going to show you how to...